Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video I'll be unboxing and doing a hands-on review of the iQOO Neo 9 Pro. Now this phone is the best phone that you can actually look out for in the price segment of 35,000 rupees and it comes with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 which was the last year's flagship processor. Right now this phone is available in two variants, base variant is priced at 37,000 rupees and it comes with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Next variant is priced at 39,000 rupees and it comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM and the same 256 gigabytes of storage. It's available in two colors, Fiery Red and Conqueror Black. We have the 12 GB variant in the Fiery Red color. Now there is another third variant which is going to be priced at 35,000 rupees. It comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Right now this phone is not available but it will be available pretty soon in the March. Just like any other phone out there. We also got HDFC and ICICI Bank instant discounts and extra exchange offers from iQOO. Now with all that out of the way, first let's get on with the unboxing. So here's the box. As you have seen, it's got a completely new design. It says Neo 9 on the front and the box is pretty good I would say. Anyway, let's unbox it. First we have the phone itself, followed by the barcode stickers. Next we have a transparent silicon case, documentation. Now here we have a 120 watt flash charger. Next we have a USB Type-C to Type-C charging cable. And finally, a SIM card ejector tool. Let me just put everything aside. Now back to the phone. Let me just remove the cover. Now this is how the phone looks on the back and this is how the phone looks on the front. Now this is a fiery red color which actually comes with vegan leather finish, dual tone finish as you have seen. If you go with the black color, it comes with a glass back and this one definitely looks pretty unique. It definitely has a very punchy style to it. And I personally love the overall design and the color specifically. If it was any other color, blue or pink or yellow, I might not look at it, but this red definitely looks very appealing. Now, as for the dual tone finish, it's got the red and white finish. It looks kind of gray. And as much as I would love to use it the same way it is, but I guess we have to go with a case to maintain the looks. As you know, Indian phones, especially the ones that use these transparent case turned out to be yellow pretty soon. So at least for the first few days, you might want to stick to this transparent case. Now let's have a physical overview. On the back side, at the top, we have the camera module with a dual camera setup. We have a 50 megapixel primary camera with Sony IMX 920 sensor, which is a night vision camera. By the way, this is the same camera seen on the Vivo X100. This is the same primary camera. And that's followed by an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. And beside that, we have the flash. And below the camera, it also says Neo Power to win. And at the bottom we have the iQOO branding. Now on the front side we have a completely flat display with a punch hole design and I must say the bezels look pretty symmetric and you do get that iPhone look to it. Inside the punch hole we get a 16 megapixel camera. Now about the display, it is a 6.78 inch AMOLED display with 1.5K resolution with a maximum brightness of 3000 nits. It has HDR10 plus support, it supports HDR on Netflix and Amazon Prime as well. And this phone also supports 144Hz screen refresh rate for games like Genshin Impact and BGMI. Now for the sides, the entire frame seems to be made of plastic but it feels pretty solid. On the right side we get the power and volume buttons made of metal. They are sufficiently elevated and they also have a nice clicky feel to them. At the top we got the secondary microphone for noise cancellation and an infrared blaster. On the left side it's completely plain. Finally at the bottom we got the SIM card tray housing two nano SIM slots and there's no SD card support. That's followed by the primary microphone, USB Type-C charging port and the speaker grill. By the way, this phone does support dual stereo speakers. One speaker is at the bottom and the earpiece acts as a secondary speaker. Now this phone also has IP54 water and dust resistance and it also has a wet touch technology which I'll talk about in a minute. As for physical dimensions, it is a thickness of 8.34 mm and weighs 190 grams. If you go with the black version which has a glass back, it is slightly thicker and weighs like 6 or 7 grams higher. But that's it, there isn't a huge difference between physical build of the red color and the black color. Now when it comes to performance, this phone sports the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor with Adreno 740 GPU. As for RAM, it has up to 12GB of LPDDR5X RAM. And as for storage, there are two variants. 128GB variant comes with UFS 3.1 storage and the 256GB variant comes with the UFS 4.0 storage. There is definitely a huge difference between UFS 3.1 and 4.0, especially when the price difference is just 2000 rupees. So if you want my recommendation, get the 256GB variant because that's definitely worth it in the long run. In the battery department, this phone comes with a 5160mAh battery, supports fast charging up to 120 watts, and as you have seen, you also get a 120 watt fast charger inside the box. You can completely charge this phone from 0 to 100% in just under 20 minutes. You can also get from 0 to 80% in under 15 minutes. Charging speeds of this phone is definitely one of the best things, like after the processor. 
Now finally, these are all the sensors this phone support. There's nothing missing. I will say NFC is something that I am personally missing out because I use it a lot for making payments. But besides NFC, this phone has everything. You also get an additional infrared blaster, which is missing on other phones. So purely in terms of hardware, there's nothing missing on this phone. Now this is how the phone looks once we turn it on and set it up. This is a home screen, app drawer. There are a bit of bloatware. Now here's the notification panel. These are the quick settings. Now this is a settings app. Now here's the board section. This phone is running Funtouch OS 14 based on Android 14. And this phone will receive three years of OS updates and four years of security updates. Now, here's something I have to mention. This is the major difference between phones that are priced about 35,000 rupees or 35,000 rupees and phones that cost you under 20,000 rupees. Like those phones get just one or two years of OS updates and two years of security updates. So if you spend a little more and get a premium phone like this one, you not only get the best performance, you also get more OS updates and more security updates as well. So that's something many people just, you know, skip out or conveniently ignore when they mention about phones that are priced around 15 or under 20,000 rupees phones. So this is definitely another benefit for going for this phone. Now, as for storage information, we get about 6 GB of RAM free right out of the box. As for storage, we get about roughly 230 or 28 gigabytes of space for our user apps and user data. And this phone also has this feature called extended RAM where you can use storage as RAM to improve the performance of the phone, like if you want it. This phone also comes with the dual stereo speakers and this is how they sound. As you have seen, they are super loud. They are definitely great for media consumption, ringtones and alarms. But do know that they don't have Dolby Atmos, but they have their own IQ or Vivo's sound engine. And it sounds pretty good. And you can also edit it if you want. Now, when it comes to security, this phone has in-display fingerprint scanner and it's super fast. Like you just place your finger on it and it unlocks the phone. We also have the face unlock feature, which works very well in low lighting conditions as well. And here's a quick preview. So this is good lighting conditions. It's super fast. Even in low lighting conditions, it's fast. And you can also use it in complete darkness situations. And it works pretty well. Personally, I would recommend you to stick with fingerprint scanner. It's definitely much more secure in the long run. Now, when it comes to connectivity, this phone obviously supports 5G. It supports up to, I guess, 12 5G bands. It has Bluetooth version 4.3, has Wi-Fi 7, but as I mentioned, there's no NFC and the USB port at the bottom supports USB 2.2. So data transfer speeds between the phone to your PC aren't that impressive, but that's not going to be a major issue. Now, finally, here's the camera interface. Well, it definitely looks like any other iQOO phone or Vivo phone out there, but the impressive thing are the cameras, especially the 50 megapixel primary camera does take some great shots, especially in low lighting conditions. And when it comes to video recording, we also have this extra night mode, which can take much better footage in low lighting conditions. I'll show you the sample shots for now, but do check out my complete review for all the photos. I'll also leave a download link for those videos and photos. So do check out that video as well. Now, when it comes to performance, this phone is not just about processor. It also has a lot of cool gaming related features. Like it has 4D game vibration, which, you know, vibrates every time you shoot someone or when you get shot in games like BGMI. And we have features like frame interpolation, which can increase the screen frame rate. So normally when you take games like Genshin Impact or BGMI, when you increase the graphic settings, it affects the frame rate. But with this frame interpolation feature, it can give you better frame rate without affecting the CPU performance. Next, we also have features like motion control, you know, like you can perform a specific action to reload the gun or just do an action to jump in Genshin Impact or other games. And we also have a feature called super resolution, which can improve the resolution of the game as well. And all these features are possible because of the dedicated Q1 chip that's available on this phone. So once again, for people who play a lot of games, all these gaming features are definitely a good addition. By the way, I forgot to mention about the haptic engine. Haptic engine on this phone is definitely pretty good. In fact, it's slightly better than the iQOO Neo 7 Pro. So guys, this is the iQOO Neo 9 Pro. Honestly, I personally love this phone and for just a starting price of 35,000 rupees, I would definitely recommend to anyone. Like this phone definitely has pretty cool looks, which makes it stands out from any other phone out there, especially in its price segment. Well, obviously it doesn't have that classy look when you compare with a complete glass panel, but if you're looking for a sporty look, then it definitely has it. And the most important part are its performance and cameras. 
and obviously battery is also pretty good. So guys, if you're looking for a phone under 40,000 rupees with good performance, good cameras, you can definitely go with the Ico Neo 9 Pro. As an alternative, we also have the OnePlus 12R, which is priced at 40,000 rupees, but it has its own issues. I'll talk about it in a separate video. So do subscribe to our channel to know more about that. So guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and do subscribe to our channel. With that said, see you next time. Bye-bye.